Alright guys, so it's been like an hour or so and uh, my helmet is uh, pretty dry. Um, it's still a little tacky, but resin likes to stay like that for a while. So, I'm um, going to move on to the next part of how to build Halo armor or any armor for that matter really. Um, and that is fiberglass. Now, this is fiberglass mat. And I don't know where you can buy big rolls of this. My dad got this from his work. But um, fiberglass mat, you can tell it's matte when it's like all crisscrossed and everything. Um, but you can buy little packs of fiberglass cloth um, at like Walmart and Home Depot. It should be close to the resin. And um, that is different from matte in that it's just really checkered. Um, it's really even and, and straight, woven together while the uh, mat is all kind of crazy and put together so um, I'm going to use the mat because that's what I have so what you want to do is you want to keep your gloves on uh, or put you know put some gloves on and you're just going to want to rip out or cut because uh, you can't really rip the, the cloth very good so you're going to cut the cloth if you have cloth but rip the mat out and um, turn the helmet inside of, um, so where you can see the inside and you're just going to place them in there and see how they fit and um, basically dry fit all of the, uh, the pieces of fiberglass inside your helmet that you want. You want to try to cover the entire inside of the helmet. You don't want to put any fiberglass on the outside of the helmet because it will ruin your detail and it's almost impossible to sand once it cures. So just put it on the inside. Okay. So after you have test fitted all your pieces and you've ripped them all out and you're ready to go, you're going to mix up um, the same resin that you use to resin the outside of the helmet, it's the same stuff. Just mix it up and you probably want to use a little bit more than you did for just resining the helmet because the fiberglass really sucks it up. So I'm going to rip out all my pieces. And then I'm gonna come back and show you how to lay them down with the fiber, or with the resin. So I'll be back in a little bit. All right, so I got my pieces ripped up, and I put my respirator back on because I'm getting ready to pour some resin. So I'm gonna use uh, six ounces again because six ounces was too much the first time, so it should be good for fiberglass. So it's just the same as you did before. Just pour out your resin. Six ounces all the way. Well, I'm not going to do this. Do this. Do this. Okay, so that's good there. I'll flip it up for now and get the rest of it out. Okay, so now I'm going to add, um, last time it, it took a little while to dry, so I'm going to mix a little bit harder, so I'm going to mix about 45 drops this time. So, you say I'm going to put the fiberglass like right there. Just going to brush the resin on there. Okay, brush the layer of resin on there. I'm going to take my piece of fiberglass here. 
and I'm just gonna stick it down in there, where, right where I put the resin down. Okay, so stick it in there. And I'm gonna take some of the resin, and you're gonna dab it down on the fiberglass. If you brush, try to brush it, it's gonna wanna peel the fiberglass up, so you gotta really dab it. So it's just a nice dab in there from there, like that. And make sure the fiberglass gets completely saturated, because this stuff is uh, flexible right now, but once you put it in there and it covers the resin, the resin cure, uh, resin cures, it's going to be really hard and it's going to really strengthen up your helmet. So make sure it gets really good and saturated with the resin. So I'm going to go ahead and keep putting this in here. Just laying it down all over on the inside. And uh, one thing to consider, if you have a visor in your helmet, uh, you're probably going to want to cut it out before you fiberglass it because uh, if you fiberglass it, it's going to be harder for you to cut out. So if you think the helmet's strong enough uh, without the visor, um, after you've resined it twice or three times, then you can go ahead and cut it out before fiberglass. But if it's not strong enough, then you're going to want to go ahead and leave the visor in there and um, you just don't want to fiberglass over the visor, so then you can still get it out later. So that's just something to consider. I am not say it because my, uh, just had those little eye pieces and I cut them out already, so I'm good. So fiberglass is really nasty stuff. You do not want to get it on your hands because it will itch like crazy once it starts to harden. It's worse than uh, the resin just by itself because fiberglass, like its name, is actually little pieces of glass basically put together in cloth form. So you don't want to get it all over the place. But it sure does the job of getting the hummus strong. And you want to try to get it pretty level inside because your head's got to go on there and you don't want bunches of fiberglass sticking out all over the place. I mean, you look at the bottom inside. We'll put foam inside it, you know, and padding and everything, so that'll kind of cut down on some of the, uh, the trick that you do. You still want to try to keep it level, but it's hard to stay in the top of that. So I'm going to keep doing this, and uh, I'll see you guys when I get on there. I'll try to get a closer look at this. All right, so I got it all fiberglassed uh, pretty good. Um, now I'm going to wait for this to dry, and it should be about the same drying time as before. And then once it dries, um, if the helmet is strong enough, then you don't have to worry about it uh, any more fiberglassing, and you can just move on to Bondo. But if it seems like the helmet needs a little bit more uh, strength to it, then um, you can go ahead and put down another layer of fiberglass, or just add... Uh, certain pieces of fiberglass for the areas you need it in. So that's it. Um, wait, I'm going to wait for this to cure. Um, I don't have any bondos, so uh, it'll probably be a little while before I put up the bondo tutorial, maybe like a week or so. But I uh, hope this guys will get you started, and I hope these tutorials are better than the last ones I put up. Um, so yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps. See you later.